what's up Winjas? This is your girl Maya. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are leveling up once again our animal flow skills and I'm going to introduce a new move, the beast reach, and I'm going to put it all together in a really intense front kick through flow for you. All that coming right up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any content because we're gonna keep building our flow and we're gonna get better and better in our animal flow practice, thereby becoming more ninjas in our life. Let's talk about the beast reach. Woo! This is a form specific stretch in animal flow and it is like all abs, all core, all shoulder, all day long. In part three of the beginner series, I covered the loaded beast. So right now we're gonna revisit the loaded beast and I'm gonna show you the beast reach. So you guys remember the loaded beast? You're gonna find beast, you're gonna load it. <laughs> Woo! Full tension throughout the whole body, reaching the hands forward while pushing the hips back as far as you can. From here, in the beast reach, you're gonna take one knee, you're gonna smell that knee, and then bring it slowly down to one of the wrists. Putting yourself in forward shoulder load, and then eyes up. So, this is the beast reach, and it is intense. All right, let me go back to load of beast. Woo! I don't know if you can tell, but I am shaking everywhere from doing that. I'm gonna show it to you again on the other side. So, set beast, set loaded beast, left leg, beast reach. Smile the knee, see how my knee is right at my nose? And then take it down to that wrist. Pushing yourself forward as much as you can, as much as your wrist can tolerate, and then eyes up in your reach. Woo! And return. <sighs> Damn. Talk about core. Even if you just incorporated that into a core workout day, five reps per side, even two reps per side, you're gonna be feeling it. So now let's get into our flow. If you remember in part three, we did a bunch of the front kick progressions and then eventually the front kick through. So today what I'm gonna be doing is two beast reaches followed by two front kick throughs, each time returning to loaded beast. Whew. This is gonna be intense. Let's go. Okay. Right leg beast reach. Return to load beast. Left leg beast reach. Return to load of beast. Front kick through. Other side, front kick through. And repeat the whole sequence again. And set beast. Oh! Okay. Give that a try. If the front kick throughs are too intense, you know how to regress it now, okay? You know you can go into the front step through or even just the front step. But practice throwing some beast reaches in there. Damn, I can't breathe. Okay. <laughs> Let me catch my breath. <sighs> if that was too hard, because the front kick throughs are really tricky, I'm gonna show you a, an easier version where we're just doing a front step through, okay? But we're gonna continue with the beast reach. Check it out. Load the beast. Beast reach. Beast reach. Front step through. Return to loaded beast. Front step through. Return to loaded beast. Beast reach. And then now you can just play around with that. Why don't you throw in a beast reach, return to loaded beast, and then throw in a front step through. As you get comfortable, you'll be able to do a beast reach right into a front kick through. Woo! Oh. 
but that's always <laughs> but that takes time and practice so don't let your ego get ahead of you regress the movement look at me I'm dying over here and I'm your instructor so as you can see it is not easy don't feel discouraged if you're not able to get from the beast reach right into the front kick through because it's not that easy. <laughs> oh my God, I need a towel. <sighs> and that is it for today. Comment below, guys. Let me know, did you try it? Have you nailed your front kick through yet? Or are you still practicing the front step and the front step through? And if you're having a hard time in the loaded beast, you're probably gonna have a hard time in the beast reach too because it is like a lot of time under tension business. So just practice each thing little by little, day at a time. Don't feel rushed. Ninja journey, ninja training to be a winja at the end of the day takes time and consistency. <sighs> All right guys, this is uh, your girl Maya. Please subscribe and come back for more flows with me. See you guys next time.